president said and uh, there in may we saw first time how 48 degree celsius would be there and uh, outside the outside temperature and there midday we conducted the uh, uh, yeah new test and that made india a nuclear weapon state and uh, that also gave me another type of happiness then i said okay these are all some different some space i said we prepare for the nation i prepare for the nation india 2020 vision how by the year 2020 india can be an economically developed nation we give a blueprint a road map in 1998 with a complete area specified and what should be done and this book finally a book also come india 20 it is famous book and all the six and uh, another work and including parliament discuss and politically they accepted in those days so all this is happened but uh, she was not thick impressed my student <laughs> you know student when you are taking class you will know she said i didn't ask all this thing but you give me one thing which gave you bliss anand you know bliss means anand equal it is anand now i finally i told her see when i was in drdl hyderabad i was working as a director of the establishment and also my specialization composite material how to make a composite material the agni missile the introduction gave for agni a uh, carry a what is called a heat shield because when it reenters with 15 times the sound speed reentry time before 2000 km goes the temperature outside will be normally 4500 degree kelvin it will be burning it's a flame that will inside inside the nose cone inside the heat shield the material what you carry it may be any important material and uh, that should be in temperature the room temperature what you are having this is the requirement so if i we developed a material what is called carbon carbon material so you know carbon composite this carbon carbon material we developed it at the tip we have put this fellow so that whenever temperature very high temperature flame comes in this will protect the inside to be always 25 28 degrees celsius so this very light material we used so this is uh, this is called heat shield for agni one day a arthapodi print where professor uh, professor b n prasad at that time was in nizam is a medical science he is arthapodi surgeon arthapodi surgeon one day he was visiting me arthapodi surgeon was visiting my lab i showed him the precious thing the heat shield she lifted he found it's very light very light very light it was always saying very light and then and heavy strength also you see very high high temperature strength also very low so strength will be kept always so all this thing was highly impressed he said kalam i want to take you to my orthopedic ward in nizam medical science so he put me in his car uh, took me to the hospital and uh, took me to the orthopedic ward there are 30 40 people who are having knee surgery and the 15 young boys and girls they had the caliper fitted you know for a polio patient they fit the caliper that caliper each both caliper put together weighs 4 kg he told me see that as soon as we went they were removed that caliper they did not wear it as soon as we saw the doctor immediately started fitting it so so heavy is not so uncomfortable he told me you see the scene and you have got a fantastic material what the use of missile why not you use that material missile material use it for this uh, my job special so we took it as a challenge uh, we took dimension we took 22 molds we made in uh, two weeks time three weeks time and then uh, we got uh, 15 15 the uh, calipers and we call it a for flow reaction orthosis for and uh, i took it 
hospital with my team composite team and we fitted to each child and child when they were so light they started running because that 4 kg becomes 400 g 4 kg 400 g the children were so happy and they started running when the when the mother saw this one they start i saw the tears i said that was the bliss i got i told you. so my uh, all of you my feeling is that answer says my student eh? all of you are fortunate to be in a noble profession to remove the pain with compassion and experience very important see one is treatment another is compassion uh, both uh, uh, today i was uh, in tirulur the school i I one girl asked me now question but twelve questions were there. Uh, one question she asked before our question I answered it as what class you are studying. The girl said I am ten plus one. What subject you are taking? She said medical subject she has taken. That's biology, medical science, and physics, physics, bioscience. All these things she has taken. And I hope you are becoming a doctor. I said yes. I I my dream is to become a doctor so that I can remove the pain. She said, "Fantastic statement the girl made. I want to remove the pain." But you know, I said my answer was, you know, normally we all of us human beings, we have one biological heart, isn't it? Always you and me, all of us got one biological heart. But doctor should have two hearts. I said. Apart from biological heart, they must have one more heart. So the question of I asked, what is it? Second heart? <laughs> you know, but he will then. Finally, I said it's a kind heart because doctor service, medical service needs compassion to the patient because you find not one patient, you have to treat hundreds of patient with pain. in that environment you have need some kindness and compassion so i visualize all the doctors they've got two hearts good doctors <laughs> now medical profession one of the important thing friends when i see dr sanjeev's our life dr ramurti's life and all your life I see one great quality we need. What is called culture of excellence. Culture of excellence. All of you can hear me. Yes. Last row. Yes. Now, friends, you will belong to the medical community of multiple fields. You should stand for a culture of excellence. The excellence not by accident. It is a process where an individual. continuously strives to better oneself the performance standards are set by themselves they work on their dreams with focus and are prepared to take calculated risk and do not get deterred by failures as they move towards their dreams then they step up their dreams as they tend to reach the original targets they strive to work to their potential in the process they increase their performance thereby multiplying further their potential this is an unending life cycle phenomena culture of excellence they are not in competition with anyone else but themselves that is a culture of excellence i am sure each one of you will aspire to become a unique with culture of excellence because that is needed when you see a patient and the diagnosis method has changed and the treatment method has changed and you are the one area you have to be completely updated continuously that means uh, your knowledge should continuously needs needs uh, needs addition 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 
friends medicine when i'm seeing all of you medicine and undergoing a paradigm shift the understanding of genome the dynamics of proteins and the ability of technology to see various process of the cells have zeroed on to inflammation inflammation as the root of all the diseases you will agree now with these discoveries also came a scientific advances in understanding the underlying mechanisms of disease leading to innovative therapies that focus on addressing the cause of disease instead of just treating symptoms it is essential our medical scientists and clinicians working in the field of healthcare and research have to revisit traditional pharmacological approaches uh, to medicine and healthcare and develop scientific treatment protocols to use them for many acute and chronic disease and disorders now when i am telling you in 2013 that's last year a cancer research found a sea change in research and development because i visited the anderson laboratory in uh, usa according to the science journal is called the advance of science yeah yes promising results emerged from the clinical trials of cancer immunotherapy cancer immunotherapy in which treatment targeted the body's immune system rather than tumors directly tumor follow you know with cancer you will treat something it will come somewhere else okay so the so there is, the question is the 2013 research says the immune system target the body's immune system in, in which rather than the tumors directly the treatment push t cells and other immune cell to combat cancer so far this process works only for certain cancer and few patients it is considered to be an important scientific breakthrough though the ultimate impact on the disease is not known it was reported the results so far have been highlighting its success it is possible immunotherapy in future may may find solution for many as a disease only person i can ask andama whether it's possible but <laughs> i was there a few weeks back at edinburgh university i i saw something i thought sharing to the young doctors professor chandran in one of the laboratory showed his work on deploying technologies typically used for, for eye care professionals and use it to develop to detect neurological disorders using optical scanner devices his team is mapping the inside of the eye particular retina they are going further and targeting the optical nerve a small opening into the retina which carries neurons and photoreceptors from the eye to the brain using the advanced technology they are able, they are able to peep down the optical nerves in the specific region of the brain and make a longitudinal and cross section image of it showed me number of images these images clearly show any odd neural pattern or any potentially at risk neural form thus using this technology professor chandran and his team is able to direct early disorders and administer preventive care in the, in the in the typical area now friends i would like to say that uh, six virtues of medical care one we have to possess over the medical care let me now share with you six virtues which a medical care giver should possess this uh, i have read in a book titled medicine and compassion authored by ripochi mong buddhist mong ripochi co-authored by and david arshim md it's a nice book name of the book compassion and medical care the he is according to the others first virtue is generosity 
that is the doctor should have a mind of generosity second virtue is pure ethics because uh, just now i had a specialist in ethics area is here ethics area and uh, that's i am very happy to know may i know sir who is that sir who is special special medical medical ethics eh pm hegde okay so first virtue is generosity the second virtue is pure ethics third is tolerance because you will be in the midst of pain your doctor or nurses they always they are in the midst of pain that's why tolerance the fourth is perseverance doctor never gives up never gives up he will always say i can save this situation or say prevent the disease or cure the disease fifth is cultivating pure concentration when you see a patient he should feel my doctor sees me sees me through not just keep a thermoscope and get away and the way you treat the patient he feels in this uh, the cultivating the pure concentration of the patient the last virtue is intelligent that means no uh, field in the country in the any part of the world it needs update because medical field in equipment in diagnosis in treatment continuously every day it's changing fortunately internet is there these virtues will empower the caregivers with a humane heart i am sure the medical who are present here and elsewhere will have all these six virtues that will reinforce confidence of the citizen in the healthcare system so finally in conclusion i would like to say what i will be remembered for what i will be remembered for first friends i want to leave you with a thought today what is the one action which will make you great every one of you has a page in the history of the world what is that page how do you make that page which is going to be referred by the prosperity there is a need to give your vision to your ambition what i will be remembered for what i will be each one of us has to ask the question what i will be remembered for and uh, if you find an answer uh, for this question a few lines that that of that of out of box idea will drive you for the rest of your life you will definitely thinking something different on our out of box mission what are they can i visualize along with you i am not a doctor but i want to visualize along with you each one of you will derive your own vision to remember for example you see this light when you see this light immediately we remember a personality even though electricity was discovered faraday long long ago but application was given a person thomas alva edison when the light you see thomas alva edison when the telephone bell rings you remember alexander graham the so what your lady you got two nobel prizes you will remember it's made in curie because one for discovery of radium another she treated cancer patient using the radium for both she got two nobel prizes so they are all unique people so what i will be remembered for you will be definitely thinking something different an out of box mission today what are they you would going to say today what i will be remembered for can i visualize along with each one of you will derive your own vision i am not putting boundary condition will you be remembered for bringing smiles of health and joy to all the patients when the patient reaches you you would be having haunted by patients but smile can you wear the smiles will you be remembered for helping creating a unique cost effective vaccine against malaria malaria is not going out of our country and thereby saving more than 1 million people mostly children and uh, who are in trouble will you be remembered for creating a road map for reviving the 23000 primary health care centers across the nation which would enable them to deliver the much needed primary health facilities to a remote region 
Madras doctors want to be in Madras. Nobody want to go to the private health centers. Will he be remembered as a champion of preventive? This is very important, sir. Will he be remembered as a champion of a preventive health care in the areas of cardiology, diabetic, and infectious diseases? Because you will be the great teacher. You are treating a patient. Patient doesn't come alone. He comes with his family. And when the patient gets cured, he becomes a teacher. When you teach, when you tell him how to how he got the disease, how it can be prevented, he will give you attention to you. He will care for you. Will he be remembered as a great teacher in preventive care for disease in families of patients? Will he be remembered for contributing in a unique way in finding a cure for diseases such as cancer and HIV? Now friends, my best wishes to all of you for success in your mission of removing the pain of the needy patient. May God bless you all.